To determine whether BaCl2 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, we'll use these rules here. So we have our barium chloride. And to make barium chloride, we have this neutralization reaction of barium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. So when we react these two substances, we get barium chloride and then water. That's a neutralization reaction. So to use these rules, we need to determine the strength of this base here and this acid. So to do that, we can look at this table. And as we look at the table here, we can see barium hydroxide right here. That's a strong base. So write SB up there for strong base. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. So we'll write SA. So now that we know the strength of each of these substances, we can use the rules. So we have a strong base and a strong acid. Here's our strong base, the barium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid. If we have strong bases and we react those, we neutralize them with strong acids, the pH is gonna be neutral at seven. So for BaCl2, this barium chloride, it is neutral when we have it in water, according to our rules here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.